Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. As we know that for FBA, seller need to send their stock at Amazon location. So it becomes very necessary for them to have a complete tracking of their stock levels at FBA location so that they don't go out of stock because it directly affects their seller ratings. In today's video, we will discuss how seller can manage their stock levels and they can import their inventory levels in Odoo so that accordingly they can plan their next replenishment to avoid the situation of out of stock. So let us go to Amazon module. Before we import FBA livestock report in Odoo, let us understand the configuration that needs to be done. So here I go to configuration, Amazon settings where we have a specific configuration for the inventory. In the FBA section, we have inventory related operation. We have inventory related configuration. The first configuration is related to the validation of the livestock report. So if this option is enabled, system will directly validate the stock level that has been imported through that FBA livestock report. But before you enable this option, be sure that your products are not being tracked as serial number and lot. If you are tracking your product by serial number or lot, we recommend not to enable this option. Otherwise, if otherwise system will directly do the stock move, then the next option is related to the reserved quantity. If you want to include your reserved quantity in the FBA livestock report, then you need to enable this option. And the last option is for the does another software create an FBA live inventory report. Sometimes seller might be using multiple applications and solution to import their inventory levels in the respective applications. So Amazon tend to deny or cancel the multiple requests for the same kind of report for the same date range. So in order to avoid such cancellation issue, we have added this feature. So if you have enabled this feature, then system will not request any new report from Amazon for the FBA livestock. Rather, it will fetch the already generated report from Amazon. So this option is to be enabled when user is using multiple application to request the same kind of report from Amazon. Now, if you go to marketplace level configuration, here we have set up FBA warehouse. So whatever inventory levels you have in your Amazon warehouse, system will fetch the livestock data to this specific warehouse and to this specific warehouse specific location is associated and in that location system will update your livestock report. Now let us understand how to import the FBA livestock report. You can import livestock report either through manual operation or through the scheduler. First, let us see the manual operation. Here I select the seller operation. Here we have an operation for FBA live inventory. I need to select the instance for which I want to import the stock and click on execute button. This is the manual operation. The same process can be automized through a scheduler here in the configuration we have FBA scheduler to import FBA livestock report you can import your FBA livestock report at a specified interval so if you have set up this cron job system will automatically import your FBA livestock report at a specific date range so once system has imported your FBA live inventory report, the report will be visible here under the FBA section, wherein you can see mismatch details if any. And there are two stock in inventory adjustment created by system. So first one is for the sellable and the unsellable. It might be possible that the inventory levels that you have in FBA location it also consists unsellable inventory as well. So we are also bringing the unsellable stock in Odoo as well. And accordingly, system will perform stock adjustment in the virtual location that has been associated with that specific marketplace. 
So if you go to sellable inventory, you will see the product that has been imported in the file and even you can see the product moves that has been created. This is the product move and you can also print account sheet which will help you to understand the inventory adjustment that has been performed by the system. So the same thing goes for unsellable location as well. If there is any mismatch like the product was not found or any other mismatch, you will be able to see the mismatch details here. Accordingly, you can take your pro uh, corrective actions and reprocess the report. Right? So this was all about FBA livestock report. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much.